guys, it's Patrice Adeline from BeautyTimeAllBrand.com and today I'm going to show you guys my skincare routine for the winter time and I thought instead of just talking about each product, I would also show you guys exactly how I use it, how much I use it, and in what order I use it. So if you want to learn my skincare routine, just keep watching. So the very first step in my skincare routine is always a cleanser. In the winter months, I just find that a creamy cleanser or an oil-based cleanser is going to be a lot more hydrating to your skin. And I live in New England. I really need the extra hydration. And I just like to mention that I do have very normal skin. Sometimes I get a little oily in the T-zone, but for the most part, it's pretty oily. So just keep in mind while you're watching my skincare routine that this is what I use. Um, and like I said, I have normal skin. You might want to adjust some of it just based on your own skin type. But the cleanser that I'm using right now, it's a medical grade cleanser and it's called Epionce Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And it's for normal to combination skin, which is like I said, exactly what I have. And basically how you wanna use this is you wanna use like maybe like this much cleanser. It's probably like a dime sized. And all I do is basically lather it onto my skin So how I like to keep my skin super soft and glowing and have small pores and get rid of fine lines is basically like exfoliating and masking two to three times a week. Any more than that will just irritate your skin and leave you with like sensitive skin. So you only just want to keep it minimally to like every other day. So today I'm going to be using a mask that I really like. It's called Super Collagen Mask by Mario Badescu. And this one is pretty hydrating and it leaves you with like firmer, smoother, more youthful looking skin. And when I mask, I like to like not use my fingers. I just don't like it getting underneath my nails. So I have a really cute little tool that I use to put my mask on. And the nice thing about this one is on the back, it has these little bristles. So when I take it off, I'm also gonna be using this one. And I'm gonna use the smooth side to put my mask on. So you just wanna do like a pretty even layer on your skin. Also, sometimes in the winter, like my skin gets really patchy and dry. And when I put on foundation, like makeup on the weekends, you can actually see where my skin is dry and patchy. So by using a mask, you're basically just exfoliating that part off. This one in particular takes 15 to 20 minutes. A lot of people don't have 15 to 20 minutes in their day, which is fine. Like I said, you can do an exfoliator, but I really like this one. And if you have time for it, like if it's nighttime and you can just watch a movie, why not just do a mask? Next step in my skincare routine is a toner. And I mostly just use toners at night after I cleanse my skin. If I do a mask like I just did for you guys, then I usually won't use a toner. Um, but if I don't do a mask, then I'll use a toner to basically get rid of any other impurities that are left on my skin, even after using a cleanser. And it, toners also kind of help um, restore the pH balance in your skin. It helps refresh your skin and it just leaves your skin feeling very like refreshed. So the toner that I like to use is this Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rose Water. And it comes in like a really big bottle. Like this will last you guys a really long time. Most of the products come um, and will last you for like probably at least a couple of months. So, you know, when you're looking at buying products and the price point, that's something to keep in mind. But basically how I use a toner is I grab these like cotton round pads and I just put a little bit on the pad and then I just use it on my skin and I kind of go over the areas like my nose, on my chin, my cheeks, basically anywhere where any impurities are gonna be left over. And like I said, I have oily T-zones so that's definitely an area that I wanna focus on. Next, I'm gonna be using a serum. Serum should be part of everybody's skincare routine. 
and there's a lot of different serums out there so uh, lately I've been using one that is the price point is really you cannot beat it and it has hyaluronic acid in it which hyaluronic acid is a very hydrating molecule it can actually hold like a thousand times its weight in water so it's very hydrating it just holds water in your skin it also has vitamin c vitamin e and some other great ingredients in it and that is the gorilla restorative use serum and you guys can actually watch another video that I made that's specific to this product where I go in details about it. But today I'm just going to be showing you how I use it. So I'm actually running a little low on it because I use it so much. But I basically just put like a couple drops in my hand. Okay. And then I just apply it all over my skin. You really don't need a lot. Like if it doesn't dry within 30 seconds, you're putting on too much. So, you know, you can put it on your neck as well. And you can see like instantly how much more glowing my skin is from it. So you don't need a lot of this product, like literally a pea size amount is more than enough. I'm gonna do about this much. And basically what you do is just put it all over your face. You definitely want to avoid the eye area with this product. Like it is not a product you want to put near your eyes because it's so, it makes your skin super sensitive at first. So today I'm going to be using the Epion's Renewal Eye Cream. And this one's really great for all skin types. It's a little bit on the pricier side, so I'll link another one below that's a little less expensive. You really don't need too much of it. I think people just tend to put on too much eye cream and then they end up going through the product super quickly. I literally only use a very small amount, which is why I don't mind purchasing a more expensive eye cream. Uh, so I'm gonna just show you guys how much I use, like literally that much. So imagine how long this is gonna last me. It's a pretty long time. And then, you know, just put it all underneath the eyes. You don't want to put it on your eyelid. You just want to keep it under the eyes. So today I'm going to be using the Noble Body Face Oil. And I will actually link for you guys a video that I made specifically on this product. So you can find out all the details and all the benefits of face oil without me having to talk about it right now. And Noble Body is actually really great. They also make a men's one too. So when my boyfriend started using my face oil, he was able to purchase one for himself. That's for men. And what I love about this one is that it smells so good. It's It kind of smells like essential oils. If you love essential oils, I know I do. But you really only need a couple of drops. So this bottle will last you quite a while. And even if you have oily skin, you can use this. Even if you break out, you can use this. Basically, like your skin gets oilier when it's dehydrated because it feels like it needs to produce oil. So if you're adding oil to your skin, your skin will actually stop producing so much oil. I love it. I put this on in the morning and by the end of the day, it's still, it feels hydrated, but like I said, not oily. And in the winter months, it literally feels like I have like a shield for the like cold, for the cold wind like coming at my face. So it feels so good. And if I'm traveling, I will literally use this, uh, as like a cleanser, I'll put it under my eyes as my eye cream. I'll put it on my lips as like a form of chapstick. Like it's a very versatile product. Okay. And if you do want to use a moisturizer, one that I like that is super, super inexpensive that I use sometimes is called uh, Hydrogenius by L'Oreal. And they do have two different ones. Uh, the one that I use is for normal to dry skin. My friend got one that's for like oily skin and she really didn't like that one. She liked the one that she used 
at my house, even though she has oily skin. So I really like this over-the-counter product. So the very last step in my skincare routine, I do this in the morning, I do this throughout the day, is a facial mist just to add some extra hydration and like give, this, give my skin a little boost throughout the day. So I use the Mario Badescu facial spray. It has aloe and rose water in it and it's super easy to use. I basically just spray it. And it just feels so refreshing and you can do it throughout the day. You can do it over your makeup. And thank you for watching my video. I've linked all the products that I used today below. And I've also linked a couple different options for people that have different skin types. So just check that out below. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to see all my other videos. And if you have any questions particular to you, your skin type, just comment it below. And like always, I will see you next time.